What is that sticking out the sand? So, the Opticor. This thing... I've... Oh, can we break that? Just three us. No, no. This thing is a huge weapon. Even on your back, it is... It is huge! But oh my god, this thing is so fun to use. It's only downside I've actually managed to come across. I mean, when first starting to use it, the... I missed. The, uh, I thought the range was going to be an issue here, but... Nope, it seems to have a nice range. That beam that it's leaving behind seems to do like, like freeze damage to enemies that run through it. Its punch through is great. It's just the the length of time it actually takes to charge this can be a I'm stuck in the corner. Can be a bit problematic at times. Not all the time. But a lot of the time. This is why punch through works pretty nicely. This thing could definitely do with being format. The only mods that we could put in that were effective and actually made it useful were we have serration, obviously, then we have split chamber, piercing hit, which increased the puncture damage a lot. Even though for some reason it only adds plus 30% puncture damage, that mod there seems to have been super nerfed for one of the newer style ones, which we don't have yet, unfortunately. We threw on Point Strike because that took the, the crit chance up to 37.5%. Crit build doesn't really go all the way up on this, but it gets close. Though it will require a few formats before that. And then we threw on Speed Trigger for the fire rate, that adds 60%. And Shred, it only adds 30% fire rate, but that 1.2 punch through that, add, that added on, it actually helped this weapon a hell of a lot. With it, with it taking so long to charge it up, the ability to actually shoot through one person and hit people behind them worked out really well. And taking that off, it didn't seem as effective. The blueprint for this was obtained from the energy lab or the corpus lab and it did need five field run for it, it's 20 gallium, uh, one former and 600 cryotic. The cryotic you get from excavation missions, former you've got to build, field run you've got to build, gallium, I keep getting told Mars is best for that. I could personally see this becoming not just powerful, but very, very useful. Okay, that is doing very little to no damage against him. Just as long as he doesn't do his uh, silly attack and tries to kill us instantly, we should be fine. But it's the, the crit builds, the that beam thing that it does. Seriously, stop biting at me. The beam, it, when I first used this, it was doing cold damage, but using it here, I'm not seeing that in effect. Uh oh, this could be a problem. And it's gone. But of course, it's not just useful against the infested. It also comes in pretty handy against other factions with that punch through. Taking on more than one at a time. Get off my terminal. Arr. Even against the Grenier, this thing is still a vicious weapon. Even one at a time, which I don't mind weaponry that can take on one person at a time, but the infested was a prime example when they're hoarding around you like that. It can be can become a huge issue to deal with them while they're actually around you. Damn it, I had a wall that one. Bleed effect sucks. Not the weapon, I mean the Grenier are causing bleed proc to us. I'm losing health. 
Oh, level 31 heavy. Dead. This is without form ring. I mean, it shows so much promise. It is... Damn it. Pretty ridiculous. And I can't wait to drop some form ring. It's just, it's going to be a week or two before I can get around to it with... Wow. I killed a level 33, but 31 is immune. You know, with the Arcwing stuff coming out, I'm trying to get the weaponry for that. You can't level up these weapons in Arcwing missions. So it is literally going to be a week or two before I can drop some former into it and make it into a pretty decent weapon. So we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Wow, he's actually pretty tough.